So I bought my first silver in 2022, and let's see what I bought. As I mentioned, I am looking to add some silver to the stack this year. Did some collecting and stacking, and this will be my first purchase. These were actually two different pur purchases. This was is a $1 Canadian coin, 2011, four nines fine. It's got the King George on the back. Pretty cool. I do like this coin actually quite a bit. It is really nice. And I am just a sucker for silver dollars. So that'd be the first purchase. It's a 25 gram coin. I paid a dollar a gram. A bit of a premium, but not too bad. And then this, I actually got this sheet here. It's 80 cents in junk Canadian, two quarters, three dimes, all centennial. And I got this at spot price. And I guess below spot price it came with uh, rabbits, but yeah, it has the rabbits on the nickels instead of, that's what they did for the centennial year instead of the beaver. I prefer the beaver. That's just myself though. People say, there's a lot of people saying silver spot price doesn't mean anything, it's a scam, and there's no point of paying attention to it or anything. Well, that's what I bid at auctions. Mo unless people want that specific thing. Like Centennial coins, there's so many of these made. You could see they don't sell back at the same price as other stuff. Like just the 67, 68. You don't get your money's worth with the 67, 68. That's all 50%. 67 was a split year, so they have to. They don't give you the same, even if it's all 80% that you've been buying. Nobody's gonna actually buy that, expecting it all to be 80%. You might trust the people you buy it from, but once it's in my pocket or in my safe or whatever. Who's gonna trust a random beaver on the internet, right? So you gotta give them a discount from that 80%. But if you just bid at spot price for basically scrap price, not even spot price, yeah, it's a little way to, they could just do it. You don't get everything. But from time to time, people just say, well, that's the price of silver. I'm not really interested in this. If nobody's interested, you end up getting it at a steal of a deal. Well below spot price. All you need to do is make it so that the next bid increment is above spot price and then you get it below. Something to think about. A little strategy I like to use when it comes to bidding on coins and stuff in auctions. For at least stacking purchases, this my first purchase of the year. That's obviously just collecting. I'm happy with how it's going. I'm happy with the first purchase of the year. Because to me it's not the price right now that makes me not want to buy and I mean really going to the LCS last time I went he's like oh you still stack like he you still collect and everything because it's been such a long time I'm not really going there that often it's pretty much just for collection pieces things things like that where I'll go in not really for the stacking anymore now I've kind of found a system a way to bid a bunch of different places to go locally before it was police auctions, now there's like five different types of auctions and stuff locally that I've found. One of them you just can't get good deals at though. It's just not happening. I'll still put some reserve bids online, but I'm not actually going to go there and check things out and stuff like that. I see it as kind of a waste of time, but doing some conservative bids or whatever, you know what the coins are, you can bid at a low price, but I've never really won anything from that place. The other four though, yeah, they're definitely cheaper places. You can get some good deals. One's just, people are bidding higher on coins and stuff than just going to an LCS and buying them. It's crazy. I cannot, and then there's the buyer's fees and everything at the auctions as well. I just cannot believe how high the prices are going. And people are willing to spend like $45 Canadian for a maple. And if you go to your LCS and like it's below 35, that's ridiculous. Why would you be buying that? And then there's the buyers, premiums, and everything on top. I just don't get it. Yeah, that's kind of how the 
update on the stacking, the collecting, what I'm getting, how I'm getting it. But I'd love to know what you guys are buying. What was your first purchase in 2022? I would love to know. And please join the Beaver Dam fam. Stay positive. See you next time. Thanks.